September is turning into a sluggish month at the box office. Eric Childress, our movie guy, joins us now. Eric, what's happening here? Are there just no good movies to go out and see? That's pretty much it. I mean, we really don't have any sort of weather to blame this on or, you know, any kind of, you know, events to really, you know, point a finger at. It's just a matter of, you know, we've got, you know, plenty of movies that open, just not a lot that have really inspired anyone to take the leap to go out in the theaters. There just haven't really been, a, you know, a lot of really good movies that have come out, really few at all. No blockbusters. Certainly not. Here's what happened at the box office last week and it was a tight horse race between mm -hmm. the top three end of watch house at the end of the street and trouble with a curve all coming in with about a million dollars yeah and end, end of watch is definitely the, the best movie of that bunch so I'm glad that that uh, ended up on top what about Finding Nemo? Did that meet your expectations? Well, we kind of talked about these 3D re-releases before, and that uh, they all kind of uh, sort of have a ceiling now between like 40 and 60 million, which is certainly not bad if you just want to boost the the potential of your your box office record with that title. Um, and just Finding Nemo's made a little over 30 million so far. Could get to 50. We'll see. Resident Evil also made the top five list. Mm -hmm. Now moving on to movies coming out this weekend, mm -hmm. do you hold any hope for a blockbuster here? Um, there's, there's, there's potential that Hotel Transylvania, which is uh, an Adam Sandler based uh, kids movie, you know, an animated film, we just talked about Finding Nemo, it's not a lot of family stuff out there in the marketplace. It might uh, inspire, you know, some families to take their kids out uh, this weekend. The best movie of the weekend is a film called Looper, the science fiction film that uh, just played Toronto that I just got back from. It's a really wonderful film, which you'll, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis that I really hope people take a chance on because it's a lot of fun, a lot of great action, a lot of great ideas, which we don't have in movies these days. In the future, time travel is outlawed, used only in secret by the largest criminal organizations. I have to tell you, I'm very much enjoying the movie trailer to Won't Back Down. Mm, it kind of looks like an Oscar contender, doesn't it? Just the way it's, you know, it's got, it you does. know, it's Viola Davis, Maggie Gyllenhaal, it's, you know, power against, the, you actresses. know, with the people. Yeah, but, you know, they, you know, Fox has not, you know, they didn't put this movie in the film festivals, uh, so they're kind of, just kind of quietly releasing it here at the end of September. Um, it, it has the look and feel of an Oscar contender. We are taking back our schools. Go out there and fight for something better. But I really don't hold a whole lot of hope out for it. So September, just kind of a month. Something we can forget. write off. There's going to be some better stuff next month we can talk about. We will see you next month. Yes. It's Eric Childress. He's vice president of the Chicago Film Critics Association. Joins us every Thursday. Thanks, Eric. Thank you.